welcome to uh, Studio A. Um, yeah, this is a bit of an impromptu thing because uh, Storm trying to film something, so I'm filming something. Yeah. Um, right, I am actually getting ready for episode three of uh, Dirty Dozen. So I'm having a bit of a tidy up because it's the first time that anybody's been in Studio A other than me um, for a very long time because of lockdown and things. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a dust kind of thing um, and, and get rid of all the kind of bits of sprues that's flown off and hit the corners and bounced around so the floor definitely needs a sweep it looks like it's um, a medieval tavern um, right other than that what have I been doing um, let me show you so I've uh, been doing some scenery so this one I've, you saw me working on before so it's nice and finished uh, got some shells vesting on there for scale Quite impressed with it. And it was very simple. I'm probably going to weather it, but <clears throat> probably weather it after the uh, campaign because of what it's supposed to be. So it'll probably get weathered afterwards to be more kind of rusty and weather beaten. So I've got that one as well. And there's a console for reasons later. You'll we'll find out. But that console moves. And uh, yeah, it's kind of same big Pringles. There's the Pringles. And then I've got this last one, Pringles 2 is doing his doors. Again, they will look fine. There's three because threes always look better on a table. So that's why I've done three different, uh, three pieces similar, but not the same. So hopefully they should look good on the table. So really pleased with those. The instructions on them, not very fantastic. Um, you can find them on eBay. That's where I bought them from. Um, but they are straightforward to put together. <coughs> and uh, Essentially, the Pringles are more expensive than kits, so quite a good, good value, really, and you get to eat Pringles. Um, yeah, you've seen them already. Um, oh, yep. So I had some I'm a patron of the arts now. Look, I've uh, had a Fast Panda uh, drawn um, by Bruce. Uh, I'll put, pop the link in uh, the thing below. So really pleased with that. What else with it? Oh yeah, well, okay, yeah. So that's 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 my fast panda, pride of place, and you can see some strange lights because I'm pointing upwards for a change, because that's why because I've been buying new stuff. Look, I bought lights, proper lights, They're proper lights. Look, off off, because they were what I was using before, so I've upgraded to them. Strange, because down in this side of the studio. We had strange, strange lighting. I broke the camera there. Uh, so yeah, I've got these big lamps for illuminating the six by four field of dreams. So I'm really, really pleased with those because instead of having those up there, which are basically just lamps, we can move around without creating too many shadows, which would be nice. Uh, what else have I got? Oh yeah, we have. A new camera. Now it's not the most snazzy camera in the world, but it's going to be for fixed shots. Uh, the idea being that up there, I'm going to stick it up there so you can kind of hopefully be able to view me and Storm Shroud during the thinking phase um, and pick up any kind of witty comments that we do come at because because most of them are witty comments because you know, we are hilarious. Um, <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Um, but yeah, you could you could see from there. Give me a clue. Of a, can't actually see what I'm filming at the moment, so but that's yeah, it's not like that. And it will be hopefully get us both in and, and capture all those little bits. Even if it's just a fast forward deployment thing, just so we can get a fixed camera, so it's not all the waviness like that. Uh, so constant improvement is always a thing. Uh, Yes, like I said, I'm, I'm tidying up for a visit by Storm Shroud tomorrow for episode three. And as you can see, yeah, it, it's just, 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 where does all this lot come from? Where does it all come from? Uh, I might even tidy that up, but no promises on that one. Okay, until next time, get your hobbies done, get some painting, uh, stick a paintbrush in your mouth, start painting and yeah, Get some models and comments below. Later. <laughs> behind the scenes of behind the scenes 
it's Monday the 17th. Boris is as loud inside, so we are now inside this wonderful studio. Are you dizzy yet? I am. <laughs> we are doing a uh, unfilmed game, so you'll never see this one, because it's the first time I've used this Shasvasti army. Uh, so we're having a go, we're having a run through, we've seen all so the... So we're getting most of our mistakes out the way now. We're trying, certainly trying to. <laughs> Hence the rule book is out and proud, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, we are... You don't often see these practice games, because what you see on screen, you don't often see them all, so this is one of those that we're having a go at. I'd just like to point out, my dead pile of all my cool stuff uh, is, is, is all dead, because somebody keeps sniping them. You um, keep using the cool model, therefore I see the cool models. Yeah, that cool model. Spawn. Cool model. Spawn. So yeah, it, it's, I'm, I'm learning. I'm certainly learning for, for the campaign. Hopefully I'll not die in game one, because that will be embarrassing. But hey, just thought we'd show you a quick clip of behind the scenes. Certainly behind the scenes. Uh, of what we do uh, on our downtime. Catch you later. And welcome to Studio B. Um, it's a little tighter than Studio A, apparently. But... Uh, yeah, that, that's because I'm. I, I, I like things to have a place. Anyway, hobby wise, what have I been up to? Um, not a huge amount really. Been a bit of organising, a bit of sorting, a bit of train, which I'll show you in a second how I made it and, pa and it painted. But yeah, mostly been either dealing with real life stuff or actually playing games, which is you know, why we hobby in the first place. But there's been a couple of changes in Studio B which I can show you. Right. So I put some sh I put some shelves on the wall. I put some cool stuff on the shelves. Bonus points if you know what they all are. I'll get closer, I'll give you a fighting chance. Everyone should get that one. Uh, yeah, hobby wise, you'll see the train in a second. Uh, I've got stuff to watch. I've got my painting companion down here now. So, this is a tank I've just set up for my better fish. She's back there hiding at the back. She's a little stressed at the moment because I've only just set the tank up today. But yeah, so she's my uh, painting companion. Everything has to be better fish approved. Uh, I've got my shelves sorted out. Kinda. There's still a bit of organisation required, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, it's nice to have... I like having my terrain out where I can just grab it when I want to put it on a table. And um, i got all my Infinity Armies in my in shelves. Oop. Let's open these up. Here we go. So, uh, from the top, I've got my Aleph, uh, my Yujing, Nomads, the big shot of my combined army, which you guys have seen before, uh, JSA, which I haven't played in 4th edition. I actually don't know if I'll actually get to 300 points anymore. Probably not. Uh, a few little remotes, and a bunch of Ariadna. And if we move down, I might actually need to hit the light. There we go. Uh, we've got all my Hack Islam. And my Spiral Core. And there's a shelf of random stuff. Gaslands, Aristea, Rumble Slam, Frostgrave, and some old Gilball. And some Lizardman at the bottom. So yeah. Uh, I've got blinds too now. I think they're overheating, the light doesn't blind me in the sun. I don't think there's a lot else that's been going on in uh, Studio B. Painted a couple of models, which you've seen. Painted the train, which you've seen how I made it. And we will see how I make it now. I'll show you now. Okay, Claw keeps telling me I should film these things as I'm doing them. Um, so, yeah, I made a thing. It will be a little rocky tour to go with the... Uh, Redwood terrain set, just to give it a bit of variation in the natural terrain I've got on that board. Obviously needs painting up and flocking and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's not complicated, it's just a bit of foam, a whole bunch of bark chips, of which I've got loads. It's amazing how many get in a bag of them. Um, and that, that's, that's not all of them, I've got a huge box in the garage full of the damn things. Uh, so yeah, just some blue foam, a whole bunch of bark chips glued onto it with a hot glue gun. And then uh, textured up with um, some texture putty and uh, various grains of sand. I'm going to turn that armature into a bush just to give it a bit of uh, colour. Yeah, okay. I think that's going to turn out quite nicely. I may even remember to film when I painted it. It's finished. Um, 
yeah, nothing too complicated. Just use some various shades of brown and grey poster paints um, to just, yeah, which are generally what I use on my uh, terrain, just to give it a quick, you know, quick coating, make it look half decent. A whole bunch of flock and clump foliage and lichen to, for the bushes and, and just to get a bit more texture. But yeah, I think that's going to work quite nicely on the board. Um, it's kind of looking pretty good and it's going to be quite usable as well. We've got um, parapets around here for hiding behind for cover for shooting off. It's about what, eight inches long and about five, six inches wide. In fact, I'll tell you what, I've got a model here I can show you a sense of scale. So there you go, there's a, a line Kazakh. But I think that's going to work quite nicely on the, on the table with among, in amongst the redwoods. And uh, whilst I was waiting for stuff to dry, I uh, work done. Finished two line Kazakhs. Paint jobs, nothing fantastic, but you know, this is me, so it's uh, get them on the table. I'm never going to win any painting contests, I'm well aware of my limitations, but they are, are good to go. So, grey sort of urban fatigues with uh, an attempt at sort of black esque uh, tactical gear over the top. So, yeah, not bad for an evening's work. That's all painted, two models done. I'll take that. Yeah, so. It was a relatively straightforward bit of train to make. Painted a couple of models while I was waiting for stuff to dry. I don't really think I've got a lot else to tell you. Um, I've got two armies to go and sort out because I'm supposed to be playing Claw tomorrow to finish the war of this campaign. Or losing. I'll be losing in the campaign. That, that's my draw of this campaign. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And go. Do your own hobby. Go. No, seriously, Stoke, go. I'm telling you, clear off. Go paint your own stuff.